Hey guys, James from Techlands here, and I'm bringing you another video analysis of the current state of the GPU crisis and how the market is currently unfolding. This is the month of August. We did one for July, and we will definitely be doing it moving into the future. So make sure that you are subscribed for that. So in this video, the month of August, we have some good news and also some potentially bad news, which we will cover and compare against our live data like we did last month. So before we get into what's been unfolding this month, we should recap what happened last month. So for the month of July, we discussed the historical background of the 3000 series launch versus the increase in crypto pricing. We also discussed what a free market is and why that's important. And then we had a look at the recent crypto decline and how that's been impacting the GPU use market, taking a look at the data live on screen. And to be honest, it was seeming really positive for gamers looking to get their hands on cards. So this month, following up on the data-driven approach, we're going to see how the free market has been reacting, how GPU pricing is being set compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum, and if they're still trending down compared to the last few months. And based off this information, we can speculate if prices are going to get better or worse in the next coming months. And stay tuned to the end because I actually have some information about in-store GPU stock, as in you can go into a store right now and buy GPUs. I'll tell you a bit more about this at the end. Stay with me. Okay, so like July's video, the first thing that we're going to do is take a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum pricing before we then have a look at the used market and see if there's any trends, see how it's reacting to this. So as it currently stands, Ethereum is at 2,500 as of August 3rd. Now, the last time that we did this video, it was July 1st, and at that point was about 2,100. So that's seen an increase of $400 per Ether. So then if we take a look at Bitcoin, it currently stands at 38,200 basically. And last month it was sat at 33,250-ish. So both of them have seen a healthy incline, healthy in terms of financial profit. Now bear in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. This is GPU advice. Anyway, but as you can see with both Bitcoin and Ethereum, they've actually seen their incline as of about the 20th of July. If we go back over to Ethereum, again, the 20th of July is basically their lowest point for both of them in the past month. In fact, that might even be their lowest point since it looks about January. And for Ethereum, it looks like since about February, that's seen its lowest point. And since then, it's been blowing up. It's been going through the roof. For the first two thirds of the month, it was looking very promising. Uh, we're seeing a steady decline for both Ethereum and Bitcoin. And then it does not look very promising at all, seeing a healthy incline for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, this isn't good news for GPU stock because as it seems to be so closely linked to the price of crypto, uh, crypto miners are probably looking at this going, if this continues to increase, or even right now as it currently stands, they might be trying to snap up GPUs now and into the next month. But we'll have a look at the used market data and see how that reflects that hypothesis. So the next thing that I want to do is relook at the Excel spreadsheet that I created for last month's video. So as a recap, we have Bitcoin in blue and Ethereum in orange. And this is taken from MarketWatch's data over the past year. The pricing for this is on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, we have used market GPU pricing taken from TechSpot's data. I'll have that article linked in the video description for you. It's a pretty good article. But they took an average of the third week of each month. And in gray is the 3090 in yellow is the 3080, in blue is the 3070, and in green is the 3060 Ti. But they do actually have data for other video cards. So let me know if you want me to start overlaying some more cards that they have data for, or if this is enough to sort of see the trend, which I think it probably is, to be honest. So this is actually the data for last month. And as you can see with Bitcoin and Ethereum pricing going up, so did the prices of GPUs. And then as Bitcoin and Ethereum were coming down, we could see the trend of GPUs coming down with them. And in this sheet, we actually have additional data appended. So this is the last month from MarketWatch and also from TechSpot. They have released new data for the month of July. And as we can see with crypto pricing coming down, we actually see 3090s, 3080s, 3070s, 3060Ti's coming down also. But the thing that makes me concerned 
is right here on the 20th of July, we're seeing crypto increase in price. But as we know from last month's video, the GPU use market is a little slow to react to the crypto market. And that's what makes me a little bit concerned this month because with crypto prices rising, if they continue to rise, we might actually see a rising cost of graphics cards in the used market, um, which we haven't actually seen in the last three months. And that would be not just bad if you're trying to buy a GPU on eBay or use, but also bad if you're trying to buy one at Best Buy Newegg or a retailer in your country because, because miners will start to take more of an interest in these graphics cards again, which would of course make it more difficult for you to purchase one as a gamer. But I do actually want to reinforce this data and show you how the market currently stands as of August 3rd today and compare this to the last video that we did because we do still have access to TerraPeak. Now what TerraPeak is, is a market analysis tool for eBay sellers. So we can actually use this to see how um, graphics cards have been pricing and how they've been selling over the past month, 90 days, etc. So if we compare to my last month's video on this topic and we take RTX 3080s for example, 3080 is, is just our reference point that we've been using. So in July's video of this, the past 90 days of sold 30 80s, we saw an average price of 2,147. And then a month later, we saw a drop in average price to $1,884 for an RTX 3080 over the past 90 days. And then if we take a look at the last 30 days, in July, we saw a price of 1,931. And then this month, we see a price of $1,642. Now that's actually a healthy reduction in price for an RTX 3080. And if we then probably most importantly, take a look at the last seven days, because that's within the time period that we've seen the crypto prices increasing, we've seen an average sale price of 1,631. Now this is a price difference of $11, and that suggests that the GPU use market has leveled out because crypto pricing has increased. And what we can speculate from that, given the trends that we've seen in this video and the previous video, is that if crypto pricing continues to increase, GPU prices on the used market will continue to increase too. But as it currently stands, let's take a look at what we can buy an RTX 3080 for. So RTX 3080, and then what I'm going to do is hit buy now, sort by lowest price first, plus shipping. And we'll take a look at what I consider to be the first legitimate listing of an RTX 3080, because if we take this one, that's going to be a scam, 100%. But let's have a look. We're seeing Zotac RTX 3080 Trinities going for $1,400 which if I remember correctly is $100 less than what we could find an RTX 3080 for last month or $150 less. The only difference with this one is that that's a light hash rate version of it. So this is a card that most miners will be turned off of because for the price, the hash rate is significantly lower. And if it takes literally, let's have a look, low hash rate, low hash rate, low hash rate. Wow, there's a lot of low hash rate cards. Everything's low hash rate for the Win3. Let's have a look. Oh, that literally ended. Like, by the time I loaded that page, it's literally ended. So that's within a few minutes. So they are actually selling for 1,475 as this. Let's see if we can actually go into the listing. Cool. Now, as far as I know, this is a card that doesn't have a limitation on its hash rate. And as far as the buyer probably knew as well, who I assume is probably going to mine on it. So it looks like full hash rate 3080s are only selling for about $75 less than what they were last month, which is not as good as I had hoped going into this month. That's sad. And now for some good news, maybe. See, I promised you guys a GPU store stock update and that you might be able to go in store and pick up a GPU, walk over to the counter and pay for it literally right now, right this second. You see, I've been going to my local micro center quite often, a few times a week because of an upcoming video that I'm really excited to actually show you guys. But every time that I've walked in there, there's been dozens of Radeon graphics cards. And also they even had MSI 3090, 3080 Ti, and I've even seen 3070 Ti's from Zotac on the shelf 
for you to be able to pick up and purchase. And on top of that, my local micro center have been doing a raffle system every Wednesday and Friday for when they get GPUs, for you to be able to join a queue to potentially get one. Now, we got one. But I do actually want to swap it out for something else. But I got a Ventus X3 3070 Ti for $909. It's a bit pricey, to be honest. But speaking to the representatives, that's set from the manufacturer, not them. There were cheaper 3070s. It's just this one would potentially fit a very specific use case for me. More on that in a bit, different video. But I'm going to do a video update on how I got this, the process, and it should be quite a fun vloggy video. So make sure that you subscribe for that. So what does all this information mean and how can we summarize it? Well, there's good news. Number one is that graphics card pricing has continued to come down. And although it has slowed, it is lower than it was last month and last month was lower than it was the previous month. So that is a good trend to be on. And number two is that stores seem to be getting more stock and that might be a very likely option for you to be able to get a graphics card. Now, the bad side is that crypto pricing has gone up. And if it continues to go up or even stays at the level it is, it seems unlikely that graphics card pricing will remain to trend downwards. It could stagnate or it could go up, which is very bad in terms of you being able to get one. Because remember, the free market, the GPU used market, is going to very much determine whether you can get a GPU used or new. Because if the price continues to go up on eBay, scalpers, bots, everything, you, they're going to kick back into action more aggressively than they currently are, which I think has been less aggressive than compared to the past couple months. I'm sorry that I couldn't give you better news, but there is definitely still hope on the horizon. But make sure that you get subscribed for next month's analysis and also the video where we talk through how getting this was possible. And we might not even have this by the time that you see the video. We might have something different, maybe even something better. But make sure that you are subscribed for that. Otherwise, guys, a like is always appreciated. I'll see you in the next video.